the end of an arrow. The one ugly stick to rule them all. An ugly stick GX2 medium heavy bass rod. Used exactly as it was not intended to. So for starters, this rod is purchased with stimulus money provided by Donald J. Trump. Great investment on his behalf. This rod has been put through all kinds of tail. The very first thing it did was it had a ugly stick, 2500, I mean, uh, Shakespeare, the owner's of ugly stick, 2500 size reel on it, put 15 pound mono on it because that's what it was rated for. It was rated for exactly eight to 20 pound line. That's all that reel would hold was 15, you know, a decent amount, big capacity of it. So, what, 15 pound line, we got there on the river in the absolute worst time of year to try to catch catfish, like right during the slap at the middle of the spawn. Wasn't a catfish one body. Caught a bunch of big drum with it. I hooked a damn monster drum with it. I don't know how big he was, but I fought it for probably 10 minutes, and then he snapped my line. He was a damn sure enough monster though. Had this rod been over like a damn game pole. Hey, uh, after that, it used to, you know, catch a lake and pond catfish, no absolute monsters, probably 20 pounders at the heaviest. Hey, uh, I put 65 pound test, Berkeley X9 line or something like that on it. Nine strand braid, which I'll be honest, was a little much for this rod, but it handled it when it didn't bitch and moan about it at all. It struck right on third, and uh, it proved itself to be an absolute great rod. Well, I, uh, in the spring of 21, I was going to the beach. I bought two a uh, 11 foot surf rods, and I brought this, just in case I wanted to throw something up there close to the bank like a uh, retrieval lure, because those, those rods are massive and heavy. Whenever I was doing that, I don't know what I ate or what I hung, but it was a damn good one. And I was not expecting it whenever it took off with it. I, uh, it took off with it. With the little, uh, uh thing I had, it was like a little, a uh, lure like that. It was painted silver with a little bit of sparkle on it. And it had a small treble on the end of it. It took off with this rod and everything. It took it off. Because I was bent over trying to, uh, scratch my leg, trying to get some seaweed off of it. And right at the time it bit, a wave hit me. And I just dropped it. I don't know why I did, but it just came out of my hands. Well, I, uh, I figured, damn, it's gone, you know. I dug around there, and about 30 minutes later, I found it. It was about 30 yards down the beach. It got wrapped around this old uh, this old pier they had, and it broke off from whatever hung the lure, thank God. And like a dumbass, I did not take it up there to the water hose and clean it out with fresh water. I just kept on fishing. And I, uh, whenever we left Florida, I forgot. So, it, I, uh... It sat in the garage for like two months before I got it back out again, and the reel was absolutely seized up. The rod still looked good, so I went and bought a dial of 5,000 for it. And I, uh, I started fishing with it again, and I, it seemed fine. It still looks great. The eye, eyelids they, uh, are fine. They have no rust on them. The rod still looks pretty much brand new. I mean, it's the real seat down here has a little bit of corrosion on it and still has sand in the EVA handle. But a uh, still in great condition, so I figured it'd be fine. Took out there to the river with that 5,000 size reel on it, 65 pound Power Pro braid, and a, I hung something big. I don't know exactly what it was. I believe it was a pretty good sized log. And a, uh, the way the river was pushing us, between that and me trying to a, uh, reel in as much slack as could to keep from getting in the trolling motor prop, I, uh, she just snapped. <laughs> Whenever it snapped, it came loose. I don't know what it was, but it came loose. And uh, yeah, I was able to keep up with the rod and the rod tip. And uh, yeah, it snapped uh, yeah, three eyelids down, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit more than three quarters of the way to the uh, fourth eyelet. And I, uh, most, you know, unusual spot, usually near the break one, you'd think it'd be up here before you got to the second island. Not with an ugly stick, though. If it was a fish, I probably could have still landed it. It might have been tough, but I probably could have, uh, still could have landed it. 
But I, uh, whenever we got home, I contacted Oakley Stick, and I, uh, basically what they told me was I, uh, after a little discussion about how it happened and, you know, where it happened and all that, I don't know why they wanted all that information, but I, uh, after I told them all that, they asked me a, uh, if I wanted another GX2 or if I wanted the catfish rod, and I, uh, I just told them to send me the catfish rod because that's all I did with this one. I never bass fished with it, really. All the bass I, uh, catches were just because I didn't have another rod with me. This rod, the, uh, the Ugly Stick Catfish, Hey, it's their newest one. It's got a new catfish design on it. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if y'all are able to see that or not. Hey, uh, it's got the uh, rod butt on it for like a fighting belt. If you're in some day, I'm sure enough monsters where you hit a fighting belt. But hey, the way I have it set up is I have like a, I believe this is a seven knot Gamagatsu circle, four ounce pyramid weight with beads on it, a uh, 40 pound mono leader, 65 pound a power pro, on a the Daiwa Crossfire, a LT5000C. A lot of people were a, or well, not a lot of people, one dude. Yeah, that sure is a lot of people, ain't it? He was asking me a, how the reel performed. I told him a good so far, but to be quite honest, I haven't really caught a fish on it. So I couldn't 100% tell you. A, uh, but as far as dragging up logs, which is a lot of what I do, it does great. A, uh, this combo's worked great. I don't think I've caught a single fish on it, but I mean, you know, I only took it out two different times, so ain't much to ask of a, uh, of a cursed rod like this, you know. It may be cursed with the way it's been performing, but uh, hopefully not. But uh, this has been a great rod for the two times it's been out. Drug up a log great. There was, I didn't worry about it snapping at all. Drug it right up to the surface. Uh, yeah, the 5000C, Still smooth as ever after it's been out two times. Got a little dirty, but I, I'm still fully confident in its abilities. Didn't know you have any questions about its performance or anything like that. I, uh, the rod is a two piece, and I believe this one's eight foot. And I, uh, I, for my application, it does better than the GX2, but I, uh, I figured y'all would like to hear the story about the damn world's greatest ugly stick gx2 a uh it, it was a damn great rod and i would suggest it to anybody i paid 50 dollars for the rod and reel it worked great for all the fish i caught with it recommend it to anybody so if you had any questions about a uh, ugly stick rod of any sort i'd definitely go with them because for the money you don't really get any better thank you for watching please subscribe this has been bad bob outdoors